Welcome to week 10 of Advanced JavaScript. Um, for week 10, the focus is going to be on object-oriented programming in JavaScript, which is relatively new. And regarding the timeline, um, object-oriented programming, um, specifically with classes and that, that mechanism of using a class within our JavaScript code, was really introduced around 2015-2016. Um, so, as, as usual, the content is organized in read, watch, do. So under read, um, there's going to be a couple of links. So there's going to be an object-oriented programming in JavaScript, an object-oriented programming in JavaScript with inheritance. And then lastly, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but um, we're getting into the point where we're going to start to deal with promises. And um, this week is really more of an introduction into promises. Um, and then next week, we'll really start to focus on the Fetch API. And the Fetch API is going to be our replacement for XML HTTP requests. And the return value for a promise is going to be, uh, or I'm sorry, the return value for a Fetch is going to be a promise. So we want to first look at promises, and then ultimately we're going to look at promises with it regards to the Fetch API. Um, so that's the reading for the week. Under Watch, um, there's a... JavaScript object-oriented programming video, and then also an introduction to promises video. And then week 10 is kind of a traditional week where you're going to have your week 10 check-in, and then lab 8, which is a lab on object-oriented programming in JavaScript. A couple of related notes. Um, if I go to course details, you're going to notice that um, the Project 3 due date um, was 414. I've pushed that back to 421. I think that makes more sense for our, our semester timeline. So 421 will be the new due date for Project 3. And then um, as we are talking about Project 3, if I go to Projects, um, you'll see Project 3 is available. Um, and Project 3, if I look at the description, uh, I just want to go through the project with you a little bit. Um, the idea is, is that you're managing a task list. Okay, so a user should be able to add new tasks and then we'll be able to list all of the existing tasks and then you'll see the little trash can next to each task. The user then should be able to delete a task. All of this is happening through uh, an API. Okay, and the API details are going to be through this reference up above. It's, a, it's an AWS API that I've built um, that allows you to manage tasks. Okay, so um, in this case we're working with persistent data. So the idea is, is if there are tasks that have already been um, saved, you should load those initial tasks and then you can add new tasks and you can delete existing tasks. So that's the project kind of in a nutshell. And then there's also a video to go along with that that covers how do I deal with um, passing data through the content type? And then how do I set an API key so that I can actually access those services? Um, so there's a video, kind of a, a Project 3 quick start, um, but it's really going to get into the Fetch API a little bit too. So um, depending on how comfortable you are working ahead, this video may or may not be relevant to you at this point. Okay, so that's it for week 10, um, and I'll see you next week.